What's up Aquarius? So let's get to your reading. We are going to find out what your moon messages are, um, what the, the blessings that are coming in from this Sagittarius full moon, okay? And we're also going to find out what could block those, uh, those blessings, all right? And what actions are needed to be taken, okay? I do have some crystals here. I have amethyst, desert sunset, and we have our tourmaline crystal and smoky quartz. All right, so we may do a little bit of energy clearing during this reading as well. So here we go. So the blessings coming to Aquarius for this full moon and Sagittarius. Leo, I will, 17. So because it kind of, um, I was gonna say upside down, but my deck is upside down. So we're not even gonna talk about that. Actually, no, these are cards are upside down. So I feel like in the past, maybe you weren't feeling confident in your ability. Your ability to produce income for yourself. Um, I feel like your self-evaluation has been like very crucial. I feel like you're not seeing yourself clearly. You're not val valuing your gifts, your talents clearly. Um, like I feel like you're I feel like you don't see your greatness is what it what it really comes down to like you don't see how phenomenal and fantastic and just uh, marvelous fen like and phenomenal again is coming through all right so maybe some of you guys need to read that poem by uh, Maya Angelou phenomenal woman right and even if you are a male watching this like like physical male still read that because this is definitely talking about you using your feminine energy to make some kind of passion process prosper for yourself so your masculine is ready to take action but the action is needed on your creativity and if you're not feeling fully aligned right uh, fully believing in yourself then you could feel confused as to where to where to direct that energy okay so I feel like the Sagittarius full moon is going to bring healing with the number 17. It's going to bring healing to you so that you can bump yourself into this uh, magician energy and also the chariot energy and move forward and creating um, something for yourself into that mastery role. You, you, you building a business. Okay. Yeah. So it's like you counting on yourself. Um, you betting on yourself. It's kind of, yeah, they just showed me this wheel of like it's a wheel and then you, you do the roulette or whatever, you know what I mean? And you pick the number 17, the wheel is going, the wheel is going. And then it stops and what number 17 and you just won like all this money. So definitely I feel like you, uh, betting on yourself and believing in on yourself is going to bring lots of uh, fortune to you so what is another blessing coming in for leo okay black moon lilith mystery okay so listen there has been something let me turn this light on hold on just in case i just want to make sure you guys can see i hope that's better so there has been uh, something that has been hidden from you, a gift or talent, okay? This is really what I'm getting. This is also Pisces energy. And remember, uh, Lilith is <clears throat> technically the first divine feminine. Uh, people don't know about her, uh, especially if you're raised in Christian or something like this. All right, they don't talk about Lilith. Like I didn't learn about Lilith until I went on my spiritual journey. So this is also, but the story goes is that Lilith wanted to be free. And so God let her go free. And basically because she wanted to be free, she was almost like banished from like um, abundance, from, from like love and peace and happiness and this kind of thing. But the, what I want, you to take from this is that Lilith chose herself. She says, no, I'm not going to be chained to anyone. I want to make my own way. All right. And I feel like the mystery within this is that 12th house, right? Is that there's going to be some kind of a DNA sequencing that's going to come in. There's that 36. 36 for me is the number of prosperity. Okay. So there's going to be some kind of, some kind of change, some kind of shift that is going to, um, activate you to some, some gift that has been hidden from you that is going to allow you to move past any stagnation and move into this energy of, I can create my own way. And it's going to allow you to escape from something. 12th house energy. So, um, again, yeah, Pisces energy coming in really strongly 
Pisces energy coming so 12 and 12 Pisces energy coming super strong so definitely something spiritual something I feel like spiritual mastery something that um, is coming back to you from one of your I am presences yeah let's get a little bit more hold on Yeah, and we're definitely, there's self-doubt. I hear like, it's like self-doubt, self-doubt, self-doubt is like, keeps, he keeps saying this to me. And I'm like, uh -huh. <laughs> you keep you keep saying it to me. You keep saying it to me. And I feel like maybe you've been seeing like you've been having readings or something like this where like they've, they've kept telling you, um, you have to stop doubting yourself. You have to stop doubting yourself. You have to stop doubting yourself. Like I feel that or or maybe you already know this, right? So we're going to help you clear that. Mm -hmm. So this is definitely going to be one of those readings where you want to come back to it um, for the energy healing part of it so that every single day you're, you're healing even more of that solar plexus, all right? But let's see. I really want to get, yeah, dedicated effort, number eight. So it's been stopping you from um, dedicating yourself, right, to whatever this is that you want to build for yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I want to get one for here because this was kind of like... Yeah, rebuilding, 16, look at that. Oh, oh, okay, look at this with the eights, okay? That's powerful energy, that's so powerful. And with this one, I'm seeing like threes across the board. So this also tells me, again, you're mastering something. Um, also, your guides are with you, ascendant masters are with you, okay, you're heavily protected. So you don't have to worry about any of that. Like you can spread your wings and fly type of energy. And then look, alignment, okay, love. This brings in, um, this brings in this separation because Lilith was separated from the masculine, right? And so she didn't have that love. So you are healing separation between your feminine and your masculine energies and allowing yourself to come into alignment with that, which you truly are. Look, which is this flow energy, which is this is the wheel, okay? With good fortune, you coming into alignment with good fortune, all right? So you may have come from, yeah, you may have come from a time where, you had to learn to detach, okay? So this is what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be detaching from self-doubt. We're gonna be detaching from uh, confusion, stem from low self-esteem. Look at this and spread your wings, okay? What did we say? You're gonna get uh, the confidence, the balance within your mind, okay? Mind and body is what I'm feeling from this, to spread your wings, yeah. Throw chakras on the bottom, I feel like it's important yeah eight look at there there goes another eight all right so you're releasing this that eight of swords usually is like a, a self-imposed prison all right a mental prison of prison prism oh that's interesting prism mm, so how does that fit in I feel like clearing your Merkaba, clearing your light body, okay? So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to clear your light body energy, okay? So that way you can fully align to uh, this beautiful energy that is uh, meant for you, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah, look, it's a new beginning on the bottom. It's a new beginning. It's you taking that leap forward, but we have to clear this so that you can come into this energy. So I feel like right now, this is where you're kind of stuck at, but we're gonna help you to detach. Yeah, Knight of Swords. Um, so you taking action on your intuition, okay? Yeah. So that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna bring this over here. Hmm. <sighs> First, we're gonna ground, so I'm just gonna hold the tourmaline in uh, my left hand. And we're gonna ground your energy. So just imagine, and this is, this, is, this is gonna be very powerful because we're bringing in the black flame, okay? So just imagine a black flame that's coming through the crown. Just say yes to receive, all right? And what it's doing is it's pushing out everything that keeps you from acting on your intuition. All right, you might feel I'm gonna go slow. You might feel something just, the crown is just gathering everything that's keeping you in separation, right? Keeping you from acting and trusting on your intuition. Just bring it all the way down, all the way down to your feet and then release. <sighs> Breathe in. 
We're gonna bring it all the way down. We're making sure that we're clearing that heart chakra as well as the solar plexus, your navel, your sacral, your roots, going all the way down your feet, your earth star, down to the core of Mother Earth, and just letting that energy go out, coming in. Um, I'm being directed to use the cell night. We're also clearing, uh, I'm gonna say it, entities. There's been something that's been latched to your energy that's been draining you. I feel like it's been a person, somebody who's been like super needy, all right? It's time for you to set energetic boundaries and physical boundaries with this person, all right? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to ring the bell. Ah, oh, powerful. And so with this mind energy that's coming in, we have the purple amethyst. And what we're going to do is we're going to open up that crown chakra. But this crown chakra is also going to help to clear the mental body. So just imagine a beautiful purple light that's just coming out from the center of you. And it's just spreading. It's just spreading. Oh, yes. Peace and calmness. Amethyst is just spreading peace and calmness. All right allowing you to feel your authentic vibration oh that's powerful beautiful we're going to just clap our hands once okay i feel like clapping again we need to ground a little bit more letting out any stuck energy all right oh powerful powerful listen you were capable of so much so much but the one thing you have to do to hit that mark is believe in yourself all right so you have to trust you have to trust and you have to move forward so with this desert uh sunset desert okay i think it's a jasper irotino yes okay guys it's a jasper we're just gonna work on the solar plexus right now so just breathe in and just hold. What I'm doing right now, you might start to feel yourself activate a little bit. We're just clearing the energy in your solar plexus. There's a little bit of uh, brown, dark brown. So that's good, okay? It's not too crazy. And we're just, uh, imagine this beautiful yellow light just getting bigger and bigger. Um, right below your chest, right above your navel, okay? Mmm, yes. I am confident. I believe in myself. I have faith in myself. I am worthy and deserving. I value myself. I acknowledge myself. I accept myself. Okay, those are the affirmations. And just breathe in again and breathe out. Breathe in through your mouth again and breathe out. Breathe in again. Breathe out. Powerful. Powerful. Irasuni. So what we're gonna do right now, we have uh, this beautiful smoky quartz, okay? And what we're gonna do, we're gonna activate you to hidden potential, all right? So from your crown, you might start to see uh, like light language symbols or sacred geometry symbols, are right, you just coming through your body as we activate you to your hidden potential, all right? And what I'm doing is I'm just using this as a representation of your body, bringing it down, okay? And what we're also doing is as we're bringing it down, this eight of swords, right? We're clearing that and we're grounding that out and activating you to this hidden potential, all right? So that you have this unwavering confidence to act on your intuition, take action, all right, take action in any information received that is guiding towards this good fortune. All right, yes, and also, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna just put that uh, smoky quartz right over the, the detach card, and we're asking the smoky quartz to help you clear you of all attachments, okay, within that crown chakra. And this is also so the black flame is also why we use that to transmit the energy, but to do a deep clearing of uh, attachments within you, right? So cutting karmic and psychic ties and bonds, all right, and also contracts and vows that do not serve you from the sea point of conception through all time, space, and dimension, and every I am presence here and now. Just say yes to receive. I receive. 
receive. All right, I accept. I accept. All right, we're going to get one last card for you. This is from the Abraham Hicks uh, Law of Attraction for money. Okay, because this is where you're headed. Like you're, you're headed to, to make this money for yourself. You're headed to this prosperity. Okay, and this there's this rebuilding that's happening. So it's like a rebuilding of allowing yourself to go forward without judgment, without what ifs. Okay, that's powerful. To be able to just, you know, rely on your own intuition and go for it without any what ifs. Yeah, I'm going to, because I just want to move this out the way for a sec. Okay. One last card for Aquarius, please. Powerful. I love it. Okay. I hope you guys feel good. I hope you guys feel really great. And also, um, if you want to book a private reading with me, you can. I'll leave the link in the description. We can do energy healing um, similar to this, or we could just do a regular reading, and you will see that. So it says, the law of attraction responds to my vibration. Right, 39. So it's like you're manifesting your authentic self, so that way you can authentically manifest things that you truly want and desire, okay? Not things that you fear. Releasing all attachments, releasing all projections, all right, so you can manifest what your truth is. A belief is nothing more than a chronic pattern of thought, and you have the ability, if you even try a little bit, to begin a new pattern to tell a new story, to achieve a different vibration, and change your point of attraction. The law of attraction is responding to your vibration and and you can easily change your vibrational point of attraction by visualizing the lifestyle you desire and holding your attention upon those images until you begin to feel relief, which will indicate that true vibrational shift has occurred. So what this is saying is that whatever it is that you are desiring, whatever you already know what it is you're, you're supposed to be doing, what you're supposed to be building, what you're supposed to be mastering, what you're supposed to be offering, what is supposed to be prospering for you. So what you have to do is imagine yourself doing it and doing it successfully. All right. And then hold that space for yourself. Like do it at nighttime, do it three times a day when you wake up in the morning, um, in the afternoon and before you go to sleep and feel your yourself exactly how it would feel if you were already doing what you want it to be doing or have okay so like say you wanted to buy a boat um, you would imagine yourself going and looking at the boats you would uh, feel yourself you know energetically giving your card to the whoever to buy the boat um, you know you would see yourself sailing on the boat whatever the, the whole thing okay and you would really truly feel it and remember that in your mind there there's nothing you can imagine whatever you want in your mind there are no what ifs in your mind there are no challenges there are no obstacles in your mind you are completely free that is your place of manifestation that is your true want okay yes so do it from a place of uh, true presence and power and honesty right like what do you honestly want what do you honestly want? Somebody here, so that's something else uh, that just came through. Somebody might be manifesting something that was based on the ego and not on your heart. And that might be why you're having trouble staying aligned to it because it's not aligned to your true, to your authentic vibration. Okay, so that is the first thing that is going to happen with these cards. And the second thing will happen is the ability to stay uh, disciplined with the visualization, with the feeling, and then also with taking action on building. All right, guys, I love you so much, and that's your reading. I see you in the next one.